I any feedback? Maybe. There's, there's perhaps one question I would have if I if I can. Yes, yes, more than two. Yes, so 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 thank you very much for these presentations today. Um and I think that I think that has been very helpful for me to to get a better idea of what the whole project is is about. Um so you're obviously collecting an, an enormous amount of data and have partly already done so. That's that that's always great. Um what 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 I would like to know a little bit more about is sort of where do you try to change our view on Greek interwar history? So certainly in my own experience, if and when I collect data, I have a kind of a relatively clear idea of, of my hypothesis. And well, then I'm looking for the data, and sometimes that hypothesis works out and sometimes it, it needs modification and sometimes it just doesn't work out but i think i would like to know a little bit more what is the position that you want to overturn and where do you want to take it to um, in the first place uh, uh my purpose in fact was and it is still is to integrate uh, the Greek case, and this was the, in fact, the central hypothesis of this project, to integrate uh, the Greek case in the transnational, uh, let's say, studies, uh, and to integrate the uh, states' bankruptcies. Uh, even the 19th century state bankruptcy, but mostly the 1932 ba states bankruptcy uh, to the international uh, context. Uh, I, so this is an aspect. Uh, this is, I'm, I think that this was the first idea I had uh, before applying uh, for this uh, um, for this funding, let's say. Uh, in the second place, uh, the microanalysis, in fact, uh, of the um, quantitative data uh, gave us, because now, okay, this was the first phase of the, this presented today, was the first phase of the research, meaning the basic research or the field research, and we are now also indeed proceeding to the uh, synthesis. Uh, so, the co uh, collecting uh, the two of them, qualitative data and quantitative data, uh, I mean that uh, it gave us a more clear um, description uh, of uh, uh, the political elites views uh, during the interwar period, and that was via, via the uh, parliamentary debates and, uh, about the questions concerning money stabilization, about the positioning of Greece in, uh, uh, in the European economy, I mean, what they thought about uh, the positioning of Greece in uh, the European economy. So we have, we ha we have uh, this um, perception of political elites as concerned uh, the political the, uh, as concerned the gestioning of the Greek economy, but on the other hand, we have also uh, the quantitative aspects uh, via the uh, uh, by studying by studying uh, the uh, uh, let's say local data or uh, uh, or uh, states data on the uh, one hand and on the other the data of the link of nation concerning Greece and I have to say that uh, as I understand it was very difficult to organize such a research field so for um, as concerned the quantitative data for Greece 
from the League of Nations. I haven't received a lot. Uh, I believe I will do that uh, in the uh, next months. Uh, but uh, at the end, the purpose is to uh, under, under, uh, under, uh, the, the, to combine, let's say, uh, the, uh, the data that Greek, Greece presents to the international institutions uh, with the data of the state. Uh, so far, uh, I, I, uh, from the archival material, I found a critique from the part of the financial committee that uh, the Greek data were falsified. So, <laughs> at the, uh, uh, early enough, I mean uh, in the early 30s. And another important aspect is uh, every half the world <laughs> To elaborate more, <laughs> because the, the uh, okay they present the 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 concentrate data, and so the committee uh, argues that I, we don't think that uh, there are the real data because from the Bank of Greece we have this and this and this information, so it is a bit uh, complicated. Uh, but uh, another aspect is that the situation, I think that it is important, this one, the situation, and I think that uh, our colleague Sofia Lazaretou has also demonstrated that, um, I'm not sure because it's a, it's a uh, while that I haven't uh, um, uh, read, read her article again, but I think that he, uh, she, sorry, she had already insinuated, I found that also in the archives, uh, another aspect then is that uh, the problem with the gold reserves, in the reserves of the bank of the bank in Greece, of Greece for uh, uh, for currency uh, began to uh, decrease. To, 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 to we began to have a problem uh, before the Great Depression. I mean, in the uh, some months after stabilization. Uh, so, and this, that is official, and that, that was the official discussion about Greece in the financial uh, committee. Uh, so, I am trying to innovate from this, uh, let's say, uh, perspective. And another aspect, I believe, of innovation, it, as I said, the peripheral distribution of uh, the state expenditures, the, the recess uh, of Andronis uh, with the cooperative institution uh, of, a com of uh, the University of Thessaly, that they're going, they're going to do the econometric work. Uh, so this is a new aspect, the peripheral uh, uh, distribution of, ex of the expenditure, but via Via, sorry, the reports, uh, the annual uh, reports of uh, the states, the state, and we uh, are going to uh, uh, do the necessary evaluation of this data as concern the demographic factor, which is also an aspect of innovation. Uh, so, in the third place, I would like to add the representation, the visual representation of uh, uh, the Great Depression, uh, which until now uh, it was not explored by the Greek cultural studies in contrast of uh, what uh, is happening in the US. Uh, so I put uh, this question mark, what happened in Greece concerning um, artworks concerning films, concerning photographs, so uh, as to represent the crisis. And Manolis uh, elaborates that 
also in uh, let's say instrumental and also in a local uh, level. And so and he he is doing the systematization of uh, of this representation. Uh, in total, I we try to combine several uh, uh, instruments. It is an interdisciplinary uh, research. Uh, for this reason, we uh, I develop. I decide to develop uh, the diffusion, the dissemination, so as more colleagues uh, can participate, uh, so as uh, uh, more uh, um, opinions, more views to be exchanged. Uh, so I, 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 I mean, it was a long moment, <laughs> but it was maybe a long answer, but. Uh, I don't know if Manolis and Antonis want to. Antonis, I don't know the view is on your technical. Do you hear us, Antoni? I can see him, but I. Can't. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay. The floor. If you want to add something uh, about uh, um, uh, your data and about the what about Matthias, also let Matthias Morris question. Uh, one thing, uh, it is a uh, work uh, uh, comple com completely uh, large and extensive, and will uh, uh, more purposes to uh, eliminate uh, suck, uh, every uh, every. Uh, every problem of uh, uh, of uh, the data uh, uh, who can uh, be uh, not adaptable or not uh, uh, efficient, mm -hmm. not and. Uh, this uh, time we are in uh, the situation to have uh, uh, for the period uh, history with a very being uh, a very uh, complete uh, data uh, and uh, we have the purpose the 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 problems of polyglossy. Uh, <laughs> the, pur the purpose of uh, uh, having a very stable and a very uh, efficient uh, and quality data for the Thank first you. step. Thank you. Thank you, Andonis, for, uh, for um, indicating this homogenization of and re-evaluation of the data you are, that you are doing in the field of, of Will you allow me a um, technical question? Uh, you use a lot of data, I understand, <coughs> sorry, from uh, League of Nations. Um, how about the, um, the sources of the historical archive of the ELO, International Labor Organization? They collect data, uh, especially for labor markets, but for <coughs> economy, uh, data uh, since 1919. Again, I couldn't hear you very well. Can you repeat your question? Okay, um, I try it again. Um, Not a very good connection. Uh, do you, uh, did you uh, use uh, the uh, historical data of the ELO2, the International Labor Organization? We have uh, data, I know the data for uh, trafficking in human beings, but I think they have data for um, other uh, purposes of uh, labor markets too. The moment uh, we are not, uh, for the moment, we are not using this uh, uh, kind of source because uh, there is an explication because in the first place, as Adonis just said, one thing is that uh, we are trying to unify or um, re-evaluate um, uh, re uh, 
uh, the states that are of this period. So this is a really uh, huge work. And I hope that soon enough, uh, you will have the opportunity to visit uh, our English uh, site. So uh, some of the uh, this uh, series would be published and you would have also access. On the other hand, Adonis edits, uh, uh, he will edit this data in a digital volume. Uh, so you, in, of course, uh, the tables will be translated also in English. So you will have access to, to this stabilized data, let's say the Greek uh, state. state. For as concerns my research, another another <coughs> thing is the data from the uh, sup the uh, uh, um, Supreme Economic Council of the country. Uh, also, I I tried uh, for this uh, we create this data series. Uh, I tried to uh, construct a global image uh, of uh, the Greek economy that it can be easily elaborated by other scholars. So, and in the same time, uh, to see also where by examining precisely the numbers of, uh, of, the, economy, of the Supreme Economic Council to localize where are the problems uh, with the monetary factor? As I said, some of them, of the data are in current drachmas, let's say of 32 or 35 or 34. Some of them are stabilized. So we hope we uh, select, we, um, I think I found it interesting to showcase uh, this differentiation uh, of uh, uh, the official data. And this is another uh, way so as to standardize the uh, Greek data that we have for the 20s and the 30s. Another reason that I haven't yet uh, uh, taken a look at this, uh, at the data that you mentioned, it is because uh, from the financial committee uh, of uh, the link, I, I am trying, I mean, I haven't yet, but uh, I will do that. I, I haven't, uh, con I, I, I haven't um, continued my research since previous uh, years in that topic, to collect data, official uh, data for Greece from uh, the uh, link uh, of nation, but the committee, I mean, the internal data of, um, of the proceedings, which are different from the first year, somehow different for the, uh, from the publications of the link that are based on the Greek statistical uh, uh, series. Yes. So this is, um, I mean, so this answers a little also to Matthias' question before, um, that uh, uh, he asked before. And so this um, is a major hypothesis for us, as Adoni said, to unify this data uh, for me to see how, in reality, the monetary factor enters in the official series. And in the third place, to see how Greek case is discussed in the framework uh, of, the, of the, the committee, of the financial uh, committee, committee. So uh, this is, uh, but uh, I, I, I believe that um, in the future uh, will be um, incorporated uh, some other material uh, from the, again, because my major source is uh, Bank of France, uh, and also uh, they have uh, some data from the Bank, bank uh, de la Relation Internationale, and uh, in this uh, uh, 
uh, in this search, we can also uh, find some unifying, some concentrate data for the 30s globally, not only for Greece, but also for, for, our, for our countries. But it's a huge, um, a, I mean, it's a huge um, territory. And uh, uh, what is important uh, for me, at least, it is to combine macro with micro analysis. And for uh, this reason, uh, we have also this optic of um, long-term sizes or, or the long durée. And, and for this, it's important to us to, um, to evoke also the, this historical, uh, let's say, uh, factor, clearly historical. So uh, I don't know if I answered your question. So maybe there's any, some comments? Hi. Uh, I have several small questions. So, what oh. you, uh, just the, we cannot hear you. Uh, do you hear me? Oh, I don't. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Okay. So. Um, oh, perfect. Yes. Okay. So, I have. Uh, I had the same question as. Uh, about the AI law. Mm -hmm. uh, it is true that the AI law uh, also produced uh, data on uh, population activity of Croatian babies, but uh, it is also true that uh, often for the economic part, the data, they were inspired mm -hmm. uh, with the data from <laughs> the financial and the economic sections of the league. Something to be checked if we, I don't know exactly, but they were not uh, very, they didn't develop a lot of data during the, the interwar, interwar period. I, I'm saying comparative data. They mm -hmm. produced the many, many data, but not for, not exactly comparative data. But this is uh, an hypothesis. I don't know exactly for, for the ILO. And then uh, for the EFAO as well, for agriculture, maybe there is data interesting data there uh other uh, yeah and the institute of international statistics as well in uh, but i think that they produce protocol and definitions but not much data okay this is a little bit the what i can remember i think the most important and the big I, I cannot hear you very well. I no? hear you can. So in the, the first part, I didn't hear anything. In the, inside the Zoom, we, a... we listen to each I other. Okay. You, it's you, Rich. <laughs> but not at the end of the... Maybe oh. you have to speak closer to the... To Maybe the you have to wear... Uh, oh, okay. No? You, the, okay, oh. I'm closer. <laughs> I'm too close. <laughs> Okay, so no, it's no. another point. Uh, what do you exactly mean by the data of the Supreme Economic Council? Yes, of Greece. It is an ah, it's of Greece. Of Greece. Ah. It is a, um, an institution uh, founded uh, in the early 30s precisely so as to describe statistically uh, uh, Greek economy, in my opinion, in order uh, to give the information uh, to the institutions, to the League of Nations, and to present uh, Greek government as liable uh, in uh, the international uh, scene. And well, I think I, I said that uh, already they used the protocols that we know from uh, the same the same protocols so via via this organization we can observe 
how um, this applied in national level, the statistical protocol of the link, and I can say that it's exactly, exactly the same. Exactly the same. It's very important. And they use this data internally. They use the, 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 of course, of course, even today we use this, this data. They, of course, the government at the time, they use this data so as to present to uh, the committee to the link. And for this, sometimes they are saying, ah, oh, you're presenting other data here, and we have other data from Bank of Greece, because as you know, in the Bank of Greece, there is a representative of the link until 1932, of course, under the backup. So, so they could control better than in a state institution. Uh, I think it's a nice paradigm uh, to see the, this interaction of the third. And um, I think it's a nice paradigm so as to compare globalization of nowadays, not with the third because it's another procedure, but with the late 19th century. I believe uh, that uh, by the, uh, across um, these mechanisms observed by, uh, by research, uh, we can do this uh, differentiation. Uh, and uh, the models of the theaters were completely different uh, than today. Uh, and, uh, Today, the, the instruments of internationalization and of globalization was very, very different. And I think that, in fact, all these efforts uh, was uh, in order to organize international trade and to normalize monetary security, monetary circulation, and not to create a global uh, uh, field, a global uh, economy, economic field. Uh, as uh, was then said yesterday, sorry. <laughs> sorry, there is a telephone ring. Um, so, uh, uh, I think that uh, also this is a major question, for me at least, to compare uh, levels of globalization. And uh, in the interval case, uh, maybe it must be said uh, that uh, uh, we are not having a community where the states try to help uh, each other as uh, if there is already Professor Chikfidis already yesterday but uh, so it's more I think it's more a technical uh, enactment uh, than a real um, um, a real procedure uh, of uh, global organization of the market. I believe. And for this reason, I used um, uh, also national, ethnic national sources. As a national, it is present, not only for, but for everybody. And, you, and it is intensified during the Great Depression as well. So this are some of uh, so, so institution. Uh, so you, you, you were just uh, so institutions like that, like the economic, uh, uh, the, uh, um, the supreme economic council of Greece played a role in the construction of economic nationalism after the crisis and after the change uh, of the model and the turn to protectionist, uh, to protectionism. Yeah. 
So you, you think that there is a global tech city, but there not, is a global, but yeah, but not necessarily in the reflected in the yes. market or the economy. Yes, yes, I think so. There is a gap. Yes, then there is a, some kind of gap. Uh, there uh, is a gap, but uh, sorry, I, I interrupt you. Should be. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, I think uh, that's important. That's very important. Uh, I think that the uh, Great Depression changed the play uh, in the first place. Uh, but also in the second place, I think that already after the 1920s uh, Monetary Conference, I mean, during the liberal period of this uh, cooperation, uh, the, the, the purpose was to enact uh, capital flows. And this was, of course, under the hegemony of Great uh, uh, Britain. Uh, so after the explosion, the appearing of the Great Depression, it is normal that the states turn to, uh, the, to, to, to autarky measure, to uh, autarky or to protectionist measure. There is no structure so as to um, to um, uh, uh, so as to protect, uh, let's say, a global uh, um, a global uh, economic or financial cooperation uh, or monetary cooperation. And this, I can't say that this is is in an article that I'm writing now, but I can say that. Uh, in fact, the link accepts that, I think, if I am reading right from my research, they accept that during the crisis, they all have been changed. And so there are not so much to do as uh, concerns uh, uh, the stabilization of economy and the the stabilization of national economies, etc. And this is rather important, I think. I think it's, uh, so we have a complete uh, uh, change of the of the model. In the same time, as I said yesterday, the market still functions. Of course, there is this pretty section um, of the economic organization. Uh, so I don't know if. Uh, those are really complicated uh, issues, uh, but uh, okay, I'm trying, uh, for this it's important to standardize the quantitative data, as Antonio said, uh, so as to clarify, also to have a, a real, as if it can be real, a, a real representation of the economic uh, uh, sphere. So, uh, maybe we can open uh, the floor for more uh, uh, questions or remarks, uh, as we can uh, uh, close with the, the, the general uh, discussion. Uh, and maybe we can enlarge the topics, not only to what I present, but more general uh, topics uh, of, uh, of, um, of the research, of the uh, economic research or of economic history of the interval, and maybe uh, um, establishing comparisons, it is a way uh, to do that, to open the field. Uh, I must explain what I mean in these comparisons. I don't mean, uh, I, I don't want to uh, insinuate comparisons from a, one ge geographic area to another or from one period to another. Uh, I mean mostly comparisons in a conceptual, uh, let's say, um, in a conceptual uh, way, meaning, as we are already uh, discussing now, uh, what this meant 
uh, globalization during the Angel War, what it is today, what it, it was in the 19th uh, century. So this is where I am placing comparisons, not in a specific uh, framework, but mostly in a, in, in a conceptual uh, framework. So I, uh, I, uh, I don't know if uh, uh, we have, I, I hope that we will have some more uh, observation uh, regarding all these uh, topics, not only the presentation of uh, uh, this project, but also the topics discussed uh, yesterday and today uh, about um, about uh, uh, especially monetary cooperation and monetary detach detachment uh, in the inner world. Uh, so maybe uh, uh, to comment. Well, um, two, two remarks. Uh, first, uh, you are planning a publication and um, I listened to, to all the papers and I have in mind what I presented uh, last year. And uh, it would be useful if you, in my opinion, if you uh, will give us some questions for the papers, what topics should we deal with? So we have an, uh, Common area of um, of discussion and uh, comparison, and maybe we have uh, the chance to to make two or three points besides the uh, uh, common questions. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is, um, um, I think uh, the interwar period is not an, uh, an example for globalization. It's an example for protectionism and for regionalism. Uh, Look, the German. Uh, foreign trade policy, or look uh, the, um, uh, the Sterling area, and so on. So, okay, that's was it. <laughs> Important, yes. Uh, and we have maybe we can discuss that uh, because, in my opinion, we have in the interwar period we have uh, two phases. It's not uh, uniform. Uh, uh, it's not uniform. It's not a uniform period. We have uh, a first phase of uh, uh, liberalism after World War One. Uh, okay, maybe not for every, but for the countries in the sphere of uh, of Britain in the British influence. Uh, but after uh, the Great Depression, even before the Great Depression. Uh, we have uh, this uh, turn in the beginning to protectionism, then to autarcy. And of course, Germany is a major, uh, major, major paradigm of, uh, of this um, uh, change of this, uh, of this model, I mean, the protectionist, uh, the protectionist or the autarcist model. Another, I believe, another example uh, of this transition, it is uh, the case of the so Soviet Union, uh, because in the in the early monetary conference conferences, especially that of 1922, we have participants from the Soviet Union, which is not happening. In the, in the international conferences, neither in 1923 uh, in London, uh, not in other uh, occasions. So even this example uh, can demonstrate us that after a First World War was an attempt, was applied, was, I, I think in my, in my opinion, we can remark um, a, a liberal, let's say, a, 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 an effort to uh, create, to implement a, a liberal uh, 
section of the market, which is on the current at the end uh, of the 20s. So it is a very, very small uh, period. In that um, procedure, the, that, that it was not uh, said until now, uh, the rural crisis, the global rural crisis, played an important role because rural crisis precedes the Great Depression. So for this reason, uh, in, 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 uh, 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 in Greece, for example, uh, we, we have this discussion about the deficit, about um, the decrease of the reserve, of the uh, monetary reserve uh, before uh, 1929. So it was the effect actually of the rural crisis because no, 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 report, no exportation or less exportation of rural pro products uh, was done. So the, it is normal that the reserves, the monetary reserves, decrease. Uh, so uh, I think that uh, from uh, even before the Great Depression, with uh, uh, the crisis, the the crisis of the rural products crisis globally, uh, we are entering a period of uh, protectionism. So the liberal phase, it is actually limited. But as we observe, uh, Ms. Roche, uh, anyway, the international institutions continue to function uh, during the 30s. As I said before, I found evidence, archival evidence, uh, that the financial organs of the ring admit uh, that okay, our rule, it's not so important, it's different, it's not the same thing as it was in the, in the 20s. So I completely agree with uh, uh, this remark uh, that uh, uh, we have of course, and I think for this, for me, it is from the beginning important the case of Germany, uh, because it is the, maybe the extremity of this paradigm. Uh, I think protectionism uh, in Germany uh, was a model for the other countries of, the, of Eastern Europe, for the Balkans, also, even for Greece. So, uh, the, I mean, this. This comparison to me was very, very interesting. It is actually very interesting. So I completely agree with um, this periodization, this uh, 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 description of phases during the interwar. And of course, we have the national, it's, it's not uniform, we have the national differentiation. As uh, Jürgen said, we can move on now. Oh. I think we are, oh, we are uh, all agree on that. Uh, we can open uh, um, discussion. I'm not sure there's a presentation before, but I don't yeah. think there's a yeah. so I want to make a few general comments. And uh, first of all, I have to say that uh, we have uh, heard the followed the four interesting presentations, five interesting presentations. I want to thank uh, Katerina, Antonis, uh, Michalis, and uh, Manolis for their presentation, okay. for their presentations, which were very interesting and stimulating. And uh, thanks, Antonis, because to, to create the okay, PowerPoint, uh, which was very important. <laughs> Antonis uh, <laughs> raising the square, okay. <laughs> <laughs> to to give even more weight. Okay. Um, what I, I want to say is that um, uh, I didn't know that uh, you people went so <laughs> deeply and go into national mm -hmm. income accounts and uh, uh, try mm -hmm. to 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 extract uh, or mine data from uh, uh, sources. Uh, 
so difficult to and you do a lot of uh, a lot of research and i really appreciate it and uh, i'm very very curious to see the, the findings and i'm sure that the findings will be extremely interesting and i say that because i'm uh, the national first of all you didn't say anything about the national income accounts and the national accounts in general, and not only in Greece. That uh, these are relatively uh, new new things. They they weren't before World War yes, Two. Right. I mean, they were after the after Keynes and his publications, yes. uh, general theory, and uh, Kuznets and people in the Bureau of Economic Analysis mm -hmm. that uh, constructed national income accounts in a unified way and they published them and uh, since world war ii other countries greece including published it regularly a uh, good national yeah, accounts yes. i mean this is what most people think but uh, maybe <laughs> i don't you see it's the proper question to ask you <laughs> well, this is what most people yeah. think that the national accounts uh, that we have now are good and uh, in the past they didn't have good accounts etc but if you stop and think uh, uh, Bit, um, who I, I discovered that uh, national income accounts, as they appear today, they they suffer. I mean, uh, mm -hmm. and we have the, the the term Greek statistics, but mm -hmm. this is uh, international statistics. I, I would say because people want to account many things that they are not uh, production proper. Okay, so going back uh, before World War Two in a period that we did not have so many services and we did not have so large states mm -hmm. uh, the national the, the the production that was accounting even in a very uh, limited way and with uh, not many people dealing with it without proper uh, uh, education i would say in economics uh, I, I i feel that the national accounts uh, that can be constructed for the past might be more accurate than the current accounts, which include so many services. They have so many statistics, and I just want to mention uh, the Greek case, the recent Greek case in 19, uh, help me, is it 2006, 2007, mm -hmm. uh, that they increased the national accounts of Greece by about uh, 15 percent or something like that, like that because mm -hmm. they wanted to include in them uh, prostitution and other things uh, mm -hmm. with uh, the expenses for the other countries uh, uh, yes so many other things expenses. and so the gdp of greece increased and the ratio of debt to gdp fell mm -hmm. but then uh, from the european union asked uh, for more uh, uh, contribution from the part of Greece, and then the, <laughs> we had another accounting uh, device, so we had the debt to to be inflated, uh, to be uh, reduced, I think, and so to fix things. Uh, so this is a story that is very interesting, and uh, I'm sure that the productivity statistics that we are working uh, right now. Uh, would be extremely important, and I'm very curious to see them <laughs> even <laughs> before your publication, because I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, updating my book in Economic History of Greece, and uh, I would like to include this, although some ideas we get from already uh, published statistics, but I think uh, I would like to see this uh, uh, productivity estimates that you have and uh, it will set the new light to what was happening during that period. Uh, and the idea is, I guess, from your part and uh, Katerina also said that, uh, is to get a more accurate uh, picture, more accurate yes. idea, or mm -hmm. first of all, know the situation and then uh, try to theorize yeah, it. Of course, yes, okay. I can agree with you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Hey, Antonis, uh, uh, describe, uh, evaluate through the stringent way that uh, you said before, the uh, statistical data, the 
and national festival of Africa. And so she gave, she gives enormous pressure to uh, us from uh, the serious contemporary author of this financial situation for the girls. And I am really happy that the demands, the demands and the plans of uh, the national institution in in Paris and there is some indeed, but she uh, must be also uh, in this uh, in another more um, uh, topic. So there were and also from the part of Andronis, uh, the 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 political publication of his data in the digital uh, volume. Uh, so uh, his elaboration it would be uh, accessible, uh, easily accessible. And maybe we have to say that uh, uh, our side, I, I, I think we already said that, our side will be in, in this in a way, so the data that are already, some of them are already in Greek, in English, even in the Greek side. But it will be, of course, more ac accessible uh, in, in the English section. Uh, so in a while, you will, you will have also, you will receive also the, um, uh, how do you mean this, uh, uh, website, website uh, with a link to the data. I wanted, I wanted that. Mm. I don't <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> but in the, in the side, there are data. Okay. So, uh, uh, but the data of Adonis, it is, uh, you have this. Uh, but there are all uh, this, uh, this kind of information going to be, this is the purpose of uh, this. And that wants to make the last point you can make. Of course, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The last point is the problem. Perhaps two last points, but let me do the first. Uh, and the first is that you you mentioned the National Commission and the, and the interrogation of the big authorities about their statistics, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, whatever your uh, results show, or whatever the people, the officials or the uh, International uh, Finance Commission say, uh, we have always, when we have, we are, when we are dealing with data, we have always to ask about motives. Okay, yeah. statistics, data are not objective. I, I say that there is always the the the, the look of the uh, person that uh, searches the data, and I'll give you a very a super simple uh, mm -hmm. example. Okay, and that is unemployment statistics. Okay, measure unemployment. What do you include there? Okay, if you hear my measurement of unemployment, I will tell you take the official figure, multiply it by two or three, and you get a rough picture and <laughs> of unemployed because in the unemployment statistics, just to work a few hours uh, in a week, you are considered full-time employed. Uh, if you are not looking for a job, I don't know, statistics differ, for a year or so, and you haven't found a job, you are considered to be out of the labor force. So these are not uh, statistics, uh, ob objective statistics. This has to do with the political power established in its uh, time period. And if you have a dictatorship in your country, then you may have zero mm -hmm. unemployment, okay? So I think this gives an idea of uh, what, uh, uh, of the nature of statistics. And I have some other things to tell you okay. for the next uh, round. But uh, uh, my, precisely because my, uh, thought is, it's not uh, what it is described in the, by my hypothesis and my, my first remark is 
why against me? I mean, why they help from the one time? What is behind? Hey, what is behind? Why they what they hint? Why the Greek government, even with us, they uh, sent uh, uh, they sent the obligation to present some conference some conference data. So for me, it's most it's mostly the political um, part <laughs> that interests me. Uh, and in any way, uh, uh, for this question for the reserve, the monetary reserve, we have liable data from the Bank uh, of Greece. So uh, it's not a question of uh, liability, but it's a question why they are uh, doing this uh, this discussion in the institution. And it's the, uh, I mean, also it's a, um, maybe for me, I am coming to also another aspect, the terms, uh, because we are some institutions of uh, the interwar period that intervene in the Greek economy, uh, Solidarian economy, Socialist economy, uh, or even Greek Socialist economy, and the institutions today. And this maybe it creates a point or points, a um, bridge, a bridge, so as to understand the regulated role of these institutions. Because I think that uh, in the framework of the world of nations, for, for instance, a financial committee was the first procedure, the ancestor of the uh, Russian Union. Also, the trade committee, in a way, no, I'm not saying that it ends uh, in the way of regulating uh, uh, the no, we are, uh, yes, yes, okay. we are two uh, different uh, institutions. Uh, for Serbian, for pre Second World War arrangement, from the one uh, uh, part of financial um, um, committee of the Central Bank of International Standards, it dates from the 19th century, not only for Serbian, also for Egypt, uh, uh, Tunisia, Ottoman Empire, etc. Uh, but in the framework world, we have a financial committee, which is uh, the advisors of the League of Nations for uh, states' finances. So it's different. And uh, of course, the first organization the committees of financial control continues to act during the interwar. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, I, I think that um, the framework of the twenty-first century, the financial committees uh, branch stay in a way in the regulatory branch of the SME, and uh, like uh, as well as the health committees. Uh, the, this, the ancestor uh, of uh, the um, so, um, health organization, the global health organization uh, today. So there are maybe a kind of organized international uh, organization of the interwar that after the Second World War uh, turns to uh, for the formal um, or more powerful global uh, institutions. And I think that um, it's, it is, for me, it is important uh, for, to, yeah, for the global system in, in general. And I think um, you, you had a straight comment. No, straight comment. That was... Katerina, if you want 
uh, maybe you uh, include us in your discussion. You must come closer to the mic, please. Sorry? Uh, Sorry? We can't understand you because you are far away from the microphone. Oh, yes. Sorry, sorry. There are two microphones. Yes. Okay. Now? Better? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I am um, the third comment. Uh, the third comment was about uh, the, the dead data and the GDP data. Mm -hmm. uh, looking at the dead data, uh, I have used two sources. Mm. Uh, the first is uh, Rein Reinhardt mm. and Drogo, mm. uh, who have collected data mm. for mm. many countries mm. in Greece, including the, the tremendous uh, mm. work, mm. I must say, mm. with uh, some other issues which I leave uh, behind now. And um, also Mazau and his data of national debt of uh, mm -hmm. Greece. Yes. And uh, I see that there is divergence. Mm -hmm. Divergence mm -hmm. which uh, turns to convergence after 1928, if my memory serves at this point. Um, I think someone must uh, uh, see what happened and why these two di different uh, data. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, that's one thing. Second thing, which is very, uh, is interesting, and important, and uh, since Andonis is, uh, <laughs> is an expert, <laughs> uh, we ma I, I cannot do it uh, at this point, mm. but uh, since uh, mm. Andonis uh, tries his best on that, yes, yes, yes. He he must, we must look at the national income accounts and mm. the GDP estimates, mm -hmm. okay? Because what yes, I have I observed is the following that Madison, who has an international database, mm -hmm. includes Greece, and I think it's based on Costalenos okay. data. Uh, I checked Costalenos data with other uh, um, uh, authors or economists of the past that they have estimates of the national income accounts, and we see that the estimates move parallel to each other. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. no one so far has uh, double-checked what happened. Of course, I have a great respect in the time and uh, work effort of all these authors, but I think we should, uh, but no one has paid to the data and the construction, uh, paid attention to the data and construction of uh, the data series. And I think it's worth, uh, is the project worth pursuing, uh, verifying, uh, and uh, lending support or correcting uh, his uh, database, uh, always know. with a lot of respect to the people who have mm. uh, done this work. Mm. And also, final, mm -hmm. uh, I think we need to have also uh, detailed data for agricultural industrial production and uh, industrial production further br broken down to mm -hmm. uh, different uh, industries. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, is uh, this is a project worth pursuing and worth also financing. Financing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you very much for the last um, um, uh, question or comment. Uh, I think that this first base uh, of from the uh, the, um, uh, uh, the the Supreme Economic Council give us uh, the image on the first place and in the second place we can now and maybe it is interconnected with what you said for the best uh, we can see where we have as we said before car and drachmas or stabilized drachmas and this is very Constant, sorry, because it's from the friends. <laughs> uh, constant drachmas uh, or current drachmas. Uh, from on the other hand, uh, in fact, I had invited Costellanos to speak about uh, uh, his research, which we respect a lot. And in fact, I am using his evaluations per capita GDP uh, in order to compare 
the uh, state's uh, official uh, data. And uh, I, I, found, I, I found him um, from the, com okay, my comparisons are a bit uh, historical and not uh, economic, econo economic comparisons, but I found that they are uh, reflecting the real, uh, I think so, uh, almost in terms of GDP, the global that, that the state that we can say yesterday, uh, I think if we do the interconnection, it is reliable. Uh, I know from him, from Postelena, that he, was, uh, he, he uh, it was Postelena that sent, that he sent uh, Arogov, uh, his data, so Arogov is based, and, but we don't know what happened after uh, the sending of the data. And Donis, uh, he maybe, um, okay, he's, uh, he, he has uh, in his uh, um, research, in his part, uh, in, it has, it is uh, um, problematic, what you already said, uh, so of about reevaluating uh, the data, uh, improving, improving on, uh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, not, of course, it's not possible. It's not possible because, uh, no, about um, uh, rethinking, let's say, on this, uh, on this data. And so he maybe wants to, to add uh, something on that. Andonis? No? No. Nothing? Uh, the only thing is uh, that uh, the data uh, of Costellanos are very reliable, and uh, the other uh, writers uh, perhaps uh, have uh, differences. Uh, because of uh, uh, they use a very one very old edition of the same the same uh, uh, book of Costellanos with the same uh, uh, the same title. Uh, the data is uh, an enormous and uh, very big uh, work, and uh, uh, there is uh, the political uh, uh, the political uh, uh, under the data. The historian can see the political. Uh, Πανσέ, στα γαλλικά, πώ τη λένε στα αγγλικά. Πανσέ, σκέψη. Α, thought. The thought. original thought. The political thought. And uh, the political thought uh, can. Uh, it isn't uh, difficult for, for, an, uh, for one uh, histori historian who is uh, very capable. The, uh, it's uh, very easy the, uh, of uh, him the uh, apocalypse, what's in the apocalypse? To reveal, to reveal. Uh, to reveal the, the fault, uh, the, the false don uh, the, the false data. Because uh, there is the population, uh, the un unemployed uh, population, and uh, you can uh, find uh, the population, uh, the difference, uh, the, the differences of the population, uh, and, and uh, key, who is uh, out of uh, of work, uh, and. Uh, uh, with uh, this uh, estimation, you can uh, you can find the population 
uh, in, in which uh, in dictature uh, can uh, uh, make uh, false uh, uh, data. It's uh, the job of uh, the historian. Yeah, the, true. They find uh, the, the false and uh, make the false uh, easy, reliable to mm -hmm. the persons. True. Um, if I may say, uh, the national income account statistics they are published and then they are revised for the next three in my in the past it was up to five years they are revised continuously so yes. it's not that uh, we have false data we have always yeah, revised data yes. until we get the final data uh, when i was a graduate student in the states that used to take a period of uh, sometimes five years. Now the period of time is shorter and we have projections. We, so uh, I did not uh, mean to imply that uh, we have uh, false data, except, uh, except uh, some other areas, okay? Such as unemployment. Uh, okay, the GDP more or less is what it is, uh, but uh, some improvements might show, for instance, uh, that the year 1933 was below the year 1932, or the year 1932 that we have a GDP higher than that of 1929 might not be so, because the difference is 1%. Mm -hmm. Okay? You remember the statistics that I showed mm -hmm. yesterday about the industrial production, which showed Greece as the only country in the world that had uh, industrial production in the year 1932 higher, uh, positive, positive, yeah, okay, every is, other country uh, had negative. This is a, an example precisely because we have to know what this production, this industrial production represented. In the Greek case, it was uh, tobacco, uh, factories, uh, oil, so, uh, oil, 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 of course, uh, res uh, elaboration of resins, so as to, exp to export wine, wine vineries. Uh, so this, okay, we have a development in this, uh, in this uh, domain, but in fact, in reality, there is no real uh, industrial uh, production, real, uh, there is no uh, heavy uh, industry. Uh, so if we count, of course, the numbers of the factories and do not are take, and we are not taking into account uh, what they represent in matter of financial, financial anything, we have the false, it's not the problem of the, of that, of the person that uh, he did the statistics, it's the problem of the historian that that put the, the questions. Uh, and for, in, in my opinion, uh, this is um, somehow problematic in Greek economic history because we are taking, I, okay, I, I said that in a way yesterday, but I am repeating tomorrow, today more clearly. We are taking the statistical data as they are, um, without uh, asking what it is about. Uh, so one, one thing is industry, as you said. Another thing is agriculture, uh, because it is demonstrating uh, big investments in the 30s, which in fact are uh, a very small uh, augmentation in the investment in, uh, increase of the state's investments, as we have the 40% of uh, the drachmas devaluation. So we cannot compare 38 to 21. It's not possible if we are not stabilized 
the currency. So those are pro problems. In my view, they are not problems of the econo uh, of those that they elaborate um, statistically the national accounts. It's a problem of syn synthesis and how, as historians or, or in my opinion, as economists also, uh, uh, what questions we, 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 we are. Um, we are going to apply to, our, to, to this statistical uh, material. So this is very, very important. And in the same, it's the same, I think, with the GDP, because with the GDP, we have, as uh, Costellenos uh, uh, demonstrated uh, some years ago, and we said yesterday, and we, a lot of us, we are using this uh, evaluation. We have a progression of the GDP uh, during uh, during the, the, the mid 30s. Uh, nevertheless, the capita, the GDP per capita, it is the same. Uh, like uh, even uh, if I remember well, even like 19, the end of the 19th century. That means what? Well, that means that the GDP was augmented because of the new reg regimes attached to Greece or because of other factors, but uh, the people, as we said yesterday, were uh, uh, they were uh, uh, they were not uh, uh, seeing his, their income to increase. Uh, so it is a question, I mean, for, in my opinion, of um, historical uh, elabor elaboration and not so much um, of uh, the data themselves, because it's, also data is very subjective. Of course, synthesis is very subjective, but uh, being uh, historians or science or uh, researchers, we can ask the proper questions, I think. So, uh, dear Jürgen, I'm, I see your uh, message. Thank you very much for uh, for being with us. Uh, you will be sti still here for some minutes? Yes? Okay. <laughs> you have to go? Okay. Thank you. We have to close maybe also in a while. No, I can stay for five minutes, but then... Because maybe we can uh, close uh, so uh, you don't have to leave earlier uh, than us. Uh, so I don't know if uh, uh, Manolis or uh, Michalis, they, they have to add something, you know, they don't want to speak to us. <laughs> uh, maybe I and my colleague from the Center uh, of Modern Greek History, Evi Caruso, she's also participating may maybe uh, in the meeting. Maybe Evi, you want to, uh, do, you, do you have any comment? especially on the rural domain that we insinuate. Uh, good morning to, uh, to everyone. No, Katerina, thank you. <laughs> I'm not thank an you. A specialist. <laughs> thank you very much. But uh, you, thank you for participating, Evie. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So, uh, no comments? We, are, we resolve everything. Rosé? No, it's oh, we, no, no. Uh, I, I had to, to change of room. Hello? It's a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit. Oh, we cannot. Uh, wait a minute. Because, because there is also. Uh, uh, I had to, to right. change of, of, of room. It's a little bit noisy. But uh, all this discussion gave me many ideas. Uh, we will discuss. We will discuss about. <laughs> Sorry for that. But I, have to make, I am in a collective room. Thank you very much. Uh, as you said, as Rosé Rose said, cooperation will be continued. Uh, and uh, as uh, also you can say the same thing, I think, if I am well. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, dear Jürgen. Thank you very much, Rosé. Thank you very much, Lefteris. And I am sure that the cooperation 
uh, will be continued in the framework uh, of this or in other system. Very much. Uh, projects. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Evi, for participating. Andonis, for your work. Thank you very much for because Andonis had to elaborate uh, the PowerPoint during one day. It was not in the first place um, in the program, but uh, then we said that it would be, of course, uh, helpful to our uh, foreign guests to have some information on the quantitative uh, data also. So thank you very much. And I hope, who knows, another time in physical at last presence and not uh, and not a Zoom one. Thank you very much. And we thank you very much for all of this.